Hi everyone, good evening, Ramaya here. So yesterday we discussed about direct file loading method and I explained you how to import .csv or .txt file into Informatica Power Center. Today I will show you delimited multi multiple files will load into one particular target as a file. Okay, let me show you the exercise here. So yesterday we already discussed, right? This is the mapping that we have. My source is customer east region and this is for target metadata that I have. Same thing I am going to use for indirect method as well. See, this is my session, right? This is my session, okay? Let me reuse the same session for indirect also. So, Whenever you are going to click on particular sources, you are able to see these kind of sections as well, right? Reader information, connection information, and properties. Under properties, you can select the path here, right? See, let me show you that path, my file names. See, this, this is the list file that I have. In list, I have two sources information. What is the information here? Where those two sources are available. That complete path I have taken here, right? I have two sources, customer east region, customer west region. Indirectly, I am going to read the customer east region data and customer west region data and load into one single target as a file, okay? So what I will do here, this is the path that I have, right? Here only this particular, this particular file is available. I want to take, a, yeah, I want to take the path here. And what you can do, you go to here under properties. Okay, what is this property name? Source file directory. Where is your files? Source files are available. In this path, I have source files, okay? What is the file name here? This is my file name, right? Go to properties, okay? And you can take the exact file name. This is how you have to do, okay? You should not uh, type manually. There is a chance to get indirect file name. I mean, the file name may be mismatched here, okay? And give the dot .txt, okay? Whenever you are providing source file directory, your list file is available under this path. This is the list file name. Next step is you have to change the source file type. Yesterday we loaded direct file, right? Today I am going to load indirect file. Why I am going to choose the indirect here? See, in my list file, indirect source files, I have two files information. So, Indirectly, I am going to load the two dot .txt files information into one particular target. That is the reason I have chosen file type. That file type is indirect. Okay. Now, let me save this session. Okay. You can apply and click OK. Okay. Again, you want to verify the target information. Yes, you can go ahead. Under mapping. So, this is my target object, right? For metadata purpose, I have taken the same target uh, table. I mean, the same which is available as a source, I have taken for mapping purpose only. Okay. As I discussed yesterday class also, I mentioned very clearly, right? Metadata is key, key role here. See, source metadata, target metadata, and with or without business rules or key roles to create any mapping or any requirement as per your specification document or mapping document. Okay, that is the reason I have taken only for metadata purpose to give the link to my object. Okay, now here you can go to again properties under your target right if you want to see i already provided yesterday this is 
I am using echo customer ID comma customer name comma amount. I have only three columns. I want to generate three fields as a header. Okay, where it will generate under river this particular path. Right, what is this name? Yeah, as per the name available, it will create the files data. Okay, now click apply and you just click OK. Now I already saved it. Yeah, see, this is my uh, uh, workflow, right? Let me run my workflow. Already I saved my session. Okay. So, workflow is succeeded without issues, right? See how many are loaded here? Eight rows, right? Eight rows are loaded. Let me check source data. What is the first source I have? Customer registration. How many I have? Four records, right? And same way, second source. Okay. How many I have? Here also I have four records. Okay, now the target file generated under target files. Okay, refresh. Okay, I just refresh now and you can open this one. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight records are loaded into your target as a file again. So, this is where you just create one file. File list you can take, right? You can take the file list. Let me show you again here. Go to your SRC path under plant files. You can take how many files you want to load indirectly. If you have more than two files, three files, whatever it may be. You just consolidate all the files information here. While creating session, you have to give the this particular uh, path information and the file which you are using as a list file. This information you have to provide here, right? Under your uh, source level information, right? Go to mapping tab. Here you can see, right? How I have provided here. Let me show you again. This is the my directory, source file directory. And where your list file is available? Uh, uh, what is the list file name here? This is the list file indirect underscore source underscore files dot txt. Many people are missing this dot txt. It could not identify where this file available. That extension you must not give, right? That is mandatory. Okay. You have to give the proper file name and this particular path name as well. Once you are uh, provided proper information, then you can select the file type source file type whether this is the direct file or indirect file. here we are doing indirect we just select the indirect okay this is indirect only no see you are you are taking the uh, source information into one particular file with the help of this file you are loading the source data based based files right base files information you are loading indirectly that is the reason we have to provide your base uh, files information into one particular file that is called file list okay this is the way you can load your source data multiple source data with the help of indirect file methodology okay yeah thank you